Today we're going to look at Mark Knopfler's flamenco strum as he does in Songs of Swing. I'm going to take you through uh, how I learned to do it. So to start with, let's keep it simple and forget using the thumb. What we're interested in is just mastering the technique. Now it's a, what I would call a double rake of the strings where you've got two fingers together and they are coming up one after the other. So if I just highlight one note here, you get two hits of the note. So to start with, let's put our fingers together just loosely. I slightly overlap the second finger on the first finger and we'll just uh, do a 4-4 pattern of strumming. one and count what we want to do is put this double rake coming upwards and then the normal strumming afterwards so it would be something like this the next stage is to start concentrating on the timing now let's listen to um, Sultans of Swing track, and I've taken one bar and looped it continuously. Now if I just, um, if I just keep all the muting, but just put the third string seventh fret, just fret that one, and I'll play the same pattern. This allows me to concentrate on that little triplet that's occurring and to try and get the timing right. So I'd suggest go back and listen to the record and try this and keep keep going between them till you think you've got the feel of it right. Now try it at different speeds. Um, obviously the, the, the speed of Sultans is uh, fairly quick, it's something like 150 BPM. I was guessing the tempo there, <laughs> feels about right. Uh, try it at slower speeds. step let's put it against a D minor chord. Now I'm deliberately not going to do any left hand muting. Um, it's actually slightly harder without doing the muting to get this sounding good but let's give it a whirl. My natural instinct like I did initially was to mute um, so you, you would mute um, like this. The next stage is to put the thumb in. For those who want to actually use the thumb, nothing wrong with just using that, uh, the strumming technique like I've demonstrated uh, for the whole song, because um, you can always accentuate the bass notes with your uh, your strumming pattern. Let's put the thumb in. And there you have it, Mark Knopfler's flamenco rhythm technique. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Hopefully see you next time on the next video. Bye for now.